Hey guys, Logan here again, and last time I went to watch Spider-Man 2. Uh, I'm very tired right now. I uh, only just woke up, still haven't had my cup of coffee yet, but, and that's probably why I look all, all scruffy and Wolverine-like, but anyway, but I went and watched it for you guys, so, yeah. But anyway, but yeah, but this movie, the, uh, uh, when Spider-Man 2 was very good, it was a very good movie, I, I thought they did the villains quite well, um, and, um, one of the good things about it is though is that um one of the good things I found out about this movie was that uh the villains were very um like outpaced from each other, they were very like distant from each other, which was very good. Um yeah, it's not like Spider Man, it's not like Spider Man three when it's just like over it's just like overkill of just villains. You know. Uh it wasn't an overkill, uh they distanced the villains quite well from each other. Uh, yeah, the villains were overall pretty good, um, I'm not going to give any spoilers, because I, I did say in previous videos I'm not going to do spoiler free, so, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do spoiler full videos, so, yeah, this is, but don't worry, this will be free to spoiler free, but anyway, and yeah, I, I like this movie, this movie was good, it was a nice, fun movie, it was a ver very, very fun movie, um, uh, in terms of the villains, now, Rano, yeah, yeah, Rano, Rhino is very brief. I mean, they show his him normally uh, at the beginning, and then and then you see him like for like a minute at the end. Uh, 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 and then when he does have the Rhino suit towards the end, it's just like it's just like for a minute. So yeah, so I, I, I don't know. With, but with Rhino, they said that they weren't gonna really Rhino wasn't really gonna be a main villain. He was just many. He was just gonna be there just to. He was just gonna be there. Uh, just to be introduced, so you can see him in mean Spider-Man Three. But that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, uh, because I really love the Rhino. I, I've always wanted them to do the Rhino, and I'm glad they've finally done the Rhino now. Uh, so yeah, Rhino was pretty well done. Um, Electro, I think Electro was pretty good. Uh, he was he was very well done and very and very um very uh very well written. Uh, I thought Jamie Fox did a great job with Electro, and Electro Electro was kind of. Yeah, I remember. I remember what this uh, what this other review I went to watch uh, earlier was that uh, was from Kimmy from the Kimmy Planet. She said that uh, in her latest review that um, Electro was like like uh, I don't know. I didn't really I didn't really pick it up. Pick uh, I didn't really pick it up when I watched the movie. But when I watched her review, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, that he was like this like this loser guy, nerdy guy that was like you know when you see him, he looks innocent and everything. But like all you need is just like one push. And he's just going to go insane. I mean, it, it's like what, it's like what, it's like what Joker says. Um, <laughs> when he says, "Madness, as you know, is a lot like gravity. All it needs a little push." <laughs> oh, see, I love the joke. I love the Joker. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, the Electro was pretty good. Um, I quite liked his power. I liked the fact that his skin was like fully electric, electric. And, and the whole vision, and then like when you saw in his, it, it, like in first person mode, he like, he like just, uh, he would like see all the electri electricity flowing through like the walls and everything, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, then, on to Harry Goblin, I thought, I thought Harry Osborn was pretty good, uh, he was, I thought the new actor brought, um, a, uh, brought a, a different take on Harry Osborn, brought a different take on him, then, um, uh, he brought a different take than James Franco in the original Sam Raimi trilogy, and yeah, he was a he was pretty good. And then, uh, and then I've got to say, uh, in my in my first impressions video that I did for you guys, uh, I said that no, that I don't like, um, that I don't I, I, that I don't really like uh, his costume. That his costume was very wasn't very good. It was it looked it didn't really look nice at all. The fact that he didn't wear a mask or anything. Um, I probably have to take that back. I think his suit actually looks pretty cool. I mean, if you look at screenshots, you're not going to like it. But if you actually watch the movie and actually see him fly around in the suits and everything, he's actually pretty. It's actually pretty cool. So yeah, he, he, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I think he'll probably be in the next one. Yeah, I think he'll probably come back for the next one, as well. But yeah, but Green Goblin, but Green Goblin was pretty. Uh, uh, was was pretty cool and yeah, very well done. Uh, very short though. Yeah, him and Rhino like have like very, very very little. They, uh, 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 him and Rhino have very little scenes. They're like in the movie, it's like two minutes each. Um, wasn't very. It, it wasn't a lot really. It, it, it like just it, it wasn't a lot at all really. But 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 yeah, but that's fine. That's fine I guess. Uh, and um, uh. 
another thing, uh, yeah, and then another thing was that was just with uh, was with Electra was that with the fight scenes, um, the fight scenes were very brief. They were like only like four minutes long as each or something, you know. The fight scenes weren't very long. The fight scenes were a lot shorter. Uh, compared to, you know, the original, the, the first main Spider-Man when the lizard battles were like 20 minutes each. So yeah, I was a bit disappointed that the fight scenes were short. I actually wanted them to be a lot longer, but I mean, I mean, but it was fine. I mean, the fight scenes were still pretty, all, all, all in all, still pretty good. So yeah, the movie was pretty good. But look, my, my only complaint is, I've just got one complaint. One little complaint, one little complaint. Um, my complaint is, where is Jonah Jameson? You know, you know, the newspaper guy says Spider calls Spider Man Menace. Where is he? Uh where is he? Black like, black like, other than a few emails that he sends Peter Parker in this movie, you don't get to actually see Jonah Jameson. Where is Jonah Jameson? He was my favorite side character in the original Sam Sam Raimi trilogy. Why is he not in this flippin' movie? I mean, in the first one, when the first one, when I went to watch the first one, I was expecting to see Jonah Jameson, and I was kind of going like, why haven't they shown him in any of the trailers? And then, anyway, and then, and then I watched the new Spider-Man, and then I went to watch the Spider-Man movie, and then like the credits roll up at the end, and I'm like, wait, wait, does this movie end it? Where's Jonah Jameson? Where's Jonah Jameson? Wait, wait, did they like cut these scenes up? Wait, where's Jonah Jameson? <laughs> So yeah, so I, I I was just like, you know, really, you know, Jonah Jameson, like, really, why is he like, just why, why, you know, just just why, why is he not there? But anyway, he better be in a main Spider-Man three, better be in a main Spider-Man three, because I, I love Jonah Jameson, okay? That's like putting like, that's like making a Superman movie with no Lois Lane in it. Sheesh, flip it off. But anyway, but but, but yeah, uh, uh, the movie was pretty good. Um, is it better than Captain America? Um. I have to say, in terms of story, the Captain America movie is probably a lot better because the story is a lot more deeper and a lot more complex. Where the Spider-Man, the main Spider-Man two, the story is very simple. It's a very basic superhero story. It's nothing special. Although I will say the fight scenes in Spider-Man two were were a lot better. I mean, because like Captain America, it's just a few. It's just you know fist fights. It's just it's just a few hand-to-hand combat fist fights. You know, N -n nothing really special. Whereas with Spider-Man, is like web swinging and electricity shooting and like and like pumpkins and like flying and like throwing each other into buildings and like all that stuff you know you, you know the, the fightings are more intense uh one friend said that he liked Ca uh spider-man more but that's only because he hates captain america i mean he tells me that he like that he likes the movies but uh, uh and that he's he actually found the spider movie better but i i know for a fact that he's just doing it for the because he just doesn't like spider-man but uh, because he just doesn't like Captain America, but, I mean, but it's fine, I mean, me, I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm still sort on the fence about it, I don't know, um, uh, this is tough, uh, I'd probably have to say Captain America was better because of, because of the fight, because the story was just deeper and more complex and everything, but if you're, but in the fight scenes, even though they were very brief in Spider-Man 2, they were a lot better than, than, than Captain America, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll give this movie probably like a 9 out of 10, and I really can't wait for this movie to come, uh, the next one to come out, and yeah, thanks guys, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, cheers guys.